Hello, today I'm going, this is my second ever video, and I'm going to be showcasing off a ga this game. It's called Silkworm. Basically, you're Spider-Man. And so, what you can do, left controller, forward, right controller, turn. I usually just turn my body, but some people like to do that. You can jump by moving your arms like this. It doesn't always work, so I would recommend just, like, swinging. Or like moving and then just like yeah so you can grab so grip is to grab and grip is also to shoot webs so you, can do, you can shoot a web and then the building and then you can just climb it like that. and so uh you can connect your web so if you shoot a web over there and shoot a web over here you put them to each other they connect and the thing and the thing that's really useful about that is what you can do is you can go over over here or something and then what you can do is get on the edge of a building and shoot a web and then you can shoot at the ground and then once it hits the ground you can do that and then grab on then what you can do is if you grab onto this, and if you grab onto a web like this, I'm still kind of new to the game, if you grab onto a web like this, with, again, grip, grip is everything, basically. Grip is like, grip is shooting webs and grabbing and stuff. And so what you can do is you can grab onto your web, and then you can push forward on your left joystick and you just and it basically makes a zip line and not only and physics don't really work so you can not only do is so you can just do the zip line upward cuz physics so yeah so uh, it's an easy way to get on top of buildings there's there's a lot of different things you can do. You can make art with your webs, like I like. You can make like, a, like if you want, you can like, you know make letters and stuff. So yeah, so you can do a lot of things. What I like to do, I just like to swing. I like to swing around and try not to touch the floor. Honestly, let's see. Like, and like sometimes, and what I'll also do is I will go up to like a building. So I'll go up to the bottom of this building real quick. And I'll see how fast I can climb it. So I'll like give it time to and then see how fast I can do that. And yeah, when you get pretty, yeah, if you do it fast enough, it kind of just launches you into space and you just fall down slowly. Can't take a minute, but it will eventually bring you back down. So, yeah, uh, but there's also another thing. Um, I can't remember which one. It's like, I think it's, um, like, it's either, it's one of the, it's either like, it's one of those, like, buttons. It's also, I think, the left, like, the Oculus button, but on your left, if you click that, it'll say this. So then you uh, use your um, trigger, click that, and it'll tell you a place that you need to go with an arrow. And all you have to do is go to that place before time runs out. It's a... I haven't done it very much because I, cause I recently discovered this game, so I'm still, so I'm not great at it. But yeah, it's just how quickly you can get to places. So, yeah. And really, that's all you have to do. That's all this game really is. But it, but the thing is, it's free. So I so I would recommend getting it. it. It's just a full free game that you can mess around with. It gets bo You don't want to play it for too long because it gets boring. But mostly, I just, it's pretty fun to just, you know, mess around and make zip lines and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's really all there is to the game.
Felt there, but anyway, so I'm probably just gonna end the video there because that's all there really is to the game. So, uh, thanks for watching, and that's done.